Hey guys, it's Justin from Justin's HTV Journal, and so what we did was we went to the Capitol building because of the furlough that's going on 2013, um, Congress can't get their minds made up, trying to pass, or trying to get rid of affordable health care, or, you know, the other side of it is that they want it to be better, or they want to revise it, and President Obama's saying no, so they're passing in the House, they're trying to get past the Senate, and uh, they're probably not going to ever get a pass this in it, but you know, who knows? It's crazier things have happened. So I went on the Capitol building and just read the protesters just to see exactly what they said about it, and here's some responses. Well, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. So, um, why are you guys in front of the Capitol today? Well, we're all federal workers or supporters of federal workers, and we're out of work. The government is shut down. We don't have jobs right now. We're not getting paid, no benefits or anything of that nature. So, we're taking some negative energy and trying to make it a positive ener energy by creating a media message. Okay, so what is your opinion on it? What do you think should happen? Well, I think, uh, obviously, the issue is is that there's a health care function of the, it's called the Obamacare, the Omnibus Health Care Act, which both parties are in disagreement over. And that's what the impetus is of the pres present situation, to not pass the continuing resolution or balance a budget. But underlying that, I think, and that's the metaphor for the money, is that the voices of the people are being silenced by having too much money in government. I believe that over the last 30 years, we've passed a series of laws like the citizens, public citizens, the act that gives corporations a voice, uh, as if they're a person, corporate personhood. Um, I think that there's too much lobbying power controlling Congress, and I think that money is being used to buy votes. These folks here, uh, all of them, both sides of the aisle, are, are controlled by money and corporate interests. And that's the fault of the people, ultimately, in my opinion, that people need to be more engaged in their government and hold it accountable. The people should be watching the government, not the government watching the people. It's backwards. So do you think that um, the blame is to the Democrats or to the Republicans? I think the, the, the responsibility is of the people. Both sides are equally responsible, in my, my, in my humble opinion, because neither side is speaking to each other. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, John. All right. So, why are you guys out here in front of the Capitol? Um, I came to promote the Million Mask March. The Million Mask March, what's that about? It's a worldwide protest. It's uh, in like 300 countries now. Something like, I don't know, it's a worldwide protest November 5th. We're all going to stand together and say that we know the government's sold out to bankers and corporations and does not represent the people anymore. So it's like Vendetta, kind of like, but in exactly, America. Yeah. It's exactly like Vendetta. The government should fear the people, not the people fear the government. Gotcha. So seeing as how, like, you know, thousands upon thousands of people are furloughed right now, what do you think the solution is to the problem? Uh, well, we need to end the Fed. That's the first thing that needs to happen. We need to take control of the creation of our money. Until we control the creation of our money, nothing else matters. We're all, they print money with interest attached at the time of printing, and all of our taxes go to pay that interest. Everything else is a lie. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Good, so why are you guys out here in front of the Capitol? Uh, we're out here because we don't want the government shut down. Okay. Well, what's your opinion on it? Uh, my opinion is they need to separate uh, Obamacare or anything else from the budget, pass the budget, and deal with the Obamacare if they have problems with it in the proper manner. Okay. Do you think that that's the solution to the problem? Is the solution the problem? Do you know the solution to the problem is to remove anything about Obamacare from uh, the budget plan and pass the budget. That's the solution. Okay. So. I'm going to ask you another question. I know, I know it's an additional question. So do you think that the blame has to go to the GOP or go to the Democrats? To the GOP. Okay, thank you.
So you think that that's a really good solution? Like if they can't come to an agreement about the budget, that they should have their pay cut as well? Well, yeah, we're the one to pay them. They we, they live off our taxes, so exactly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, yes, for that.